Welcome to the video. <laughs> What's going on, gangsters? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video, and today I am running the Bronco Fitness Test for the first time ever. I've never done this before, so I don't really know what to expect. Um, I'm hoping for sub six minutes. I think that's a realistic goal. For those of you who don't know what a Bronco is, you do five rounds. You run 20 meters and back, 40 meters back, 60 meters back. I'm just on the football field, so it's just gonna be in yards, so a little less distance than meters, but close enough. Ready? Yeah. I'm nervous. Okay. Set, go. you lived yeah my legs just feel like jello oh I don't want to do legs today okay now that I'm not dying as much that really wasn't that bad it was hard and I think at round three it was just kind of like this turning point of like it's only two more I made sure not to go out too hot and uh, just to stay in my pace and I waited until the last 60 meter sprint on the way back to really like go all out. Sometimes people like use their reserves a little too soon and they don't get that burst that they want for the end of the test. So what was it 534? 531. 531? I'm happy with that for the first time ever doing it. In addition to the Bronco test, I'm taking you guys through a full day of eating on a training and practice day. So right now I'm about to have breakfast, made a hefty sludge bowl, and just like that, sludge bowl is gone. I look forward to that meal every single day. It never gets old to me. You can switch it up, switch up the flavor of protein. I put pudding in there. You can switch up the flavor of pudding. You can switch up whether you put granola or fruit. Whatever your little heart desires, the sludge bowl is unmatched. So every morning when I wake up, I have one scoop of strong greens and one scoop of strong reds. Because so if I'm being honest, I don't really get all the vegetables and um, that I should probably get on a daily basis in my life so I supplement um, no shame in that and I also after breakfast have my multivitamin and two fish oil a little bit of Gatorade to help this go down and you're like Jenny why Gatorade don't worry I'm gonna show you in a minute I don't like fish.
perfect. This, this right here is why I drink the Gatorade. I make a little bit of room, get a little tiny funnel, and I mix myself up a little go-go juice while I'm coaching. Right before the end of the session, I can just start sipping on it. And then by the time it's time for me and Zoe to work out, that caffeine is hitting my system. I also add in a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. I basically add this to everything I eat. I think it's awesome. And the pump I get is fantastic. I also don't really cramp. So if you cramp a lot, salt your food. Mix that up. Boom. There's my little pre-workout drink. Oh my god. I don't know, I guess it's not a reaction. <laughs> that was insane. We're working out at CFY today because I got yelled at at the high school because I was a dumb dumb and I went into the gym when I was not supposed to and he was even blocked off and I did it anyways because I just had, I had so many kids today and I was so excited that I went into the gym even though like the floor was drying from being waxed and I was like it's dry enough and we were all in so whatever I'm stressed I just took pre-workout and so like now I'm even more stressed and our pre-workout. Now we're gonna take sugar. <laughs> I don't know. And I no no no. Our pre-workout snack is going to be some local. Get your face out of there, honey. And uh, I normally was gonna have like a banana with it, but our bananas were a little too ripe. So just a shot of honey. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a guzzle. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't have to report me doing this. Okay. A little glimpse into my athletic lower body day. I already did some trap bar jumps and box jumps, followed up by some curved sprints. Now, I'm experimenting with some um, split cleans. So receiving it in like a split jerk position. I kind of like it so far. Next, I'm just building up to a heavy single on back squat. Haven't really done it in a while, so on the bark right now is 205. Okay. My all time PR is 235, and I hit that two years ago, and that was after like a big squat cycle. I was squatting three days a week and it really did a number on me. So this is 225 and we're just gonna see how it goes. Okay, but here's the question. Do I try to hit 240? Damn. That's sad. Just got home from the gym and now it's time for lunch. Spaghetti and bison. We're going one and a half servings of spaghetti. And like 
five to six ounces of ground bison. I don't normally get bison, but I had a coupon. So I treated myself. And then just topping it off with some traditional pasta sauce. Toss that in the microwave for like one and a half, two minutes. And last but not least, some Parmesan cheese on top. Stir that up and that's going to be our post-workout meal. And that's Zoe's. Fast forward a few hours, just got a lot of back-end work done like on my computer. Um, not the most enjoyable part of my job, but it's got to get done. So I'm leaving in about 15-20 minutes and I am prepping my food for tonight. First things first is one scoop of electrolytes to sip on before and during practice. Put that in a shaker. Shake that up, ready to go. For after practice, I am going to be bringing fluff and this little like peanut butter PB fit concoction that I made. It really is just half a serving peanut butter and then two servings of PB fit mixed in with some chocolate milk instead of regular chocolate milk because chocolate milk is superior. And then I'll bring two slices of bread to make a little sandwich. Almost forgot a banana before practice. And then right now I'm gonna have like an early dinner thing because it's only 4.30, not even. And it's just, it's hard to tell, but it's a bunch of egg whites, piece of fat-free cheese, 200 grams of sweet potato, and four ounces of chicken thigh. Last thing before I leave, and I'm filming this now because I don't want to wake up Zoe later tonight. Before I go, I always prep my peak sleep. So a little thing of water, and then I'll just scoop that in there right when I get home. That way I can just crawl into bed and pass out. It is 6.30. I'm about 15-ish minutes from the field, and it's about an hour hour and a half until practice i'll probably get out a little bit early and run around run some plays with some of the other backs so i am about to have my pre-practice banana at first i thought i wasn't going to be hungry enough for this i was feeling really full after my uh, previous meal but now i'm kind of hungry so i'm going to eat this sip on those bpn electrolytes and then go to practice it's 10.05, practice ended a few minutes ago, stayed, yeah. That was a stale piece of cereal left in this little pouch and I thought that would be good and it was not. Anywho, it's time for the post-practice snack, which is a little sandwich. So got my two pieces of white bread and then the little peanut butter mixture I've got going on here. I don't know how well it's gonna spread, but you know, a lot of times when I eat, it's not pretty <laughs> and it's weird concoctions of meals, but it gets the job done, it fuels me, and that's really what I care about. I love fluff. I say it all the time. If you guys have never tried it before, you're missing out and you need to try it. A generous amount boom put it together nice little sandwich for me to devour I'm not tracking macros right now because I generally eat the same thing every single day or like a version of the same thing every day it's a sludge bowl it's a post-workout either pasta and meat potatoes and meat rice and meat whatever there's a second meal or snack before dinner. In this case, when I had practice, there was like a second meal and then a snack before practice and then like a snack slash meal after. I just try to eat in like little windows and that's what works for me. 
I don't like eating massive meals, but I know I need to eat a lot. For context, I am 5'7", and I hover between 165 and 170 pounds, and I really like like that weight range. I feel the best on it. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna go home. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.